what's funny about Silicon Valley? We're at this kind of absurd time in history where people who are 24 are suddenly worth you know, $10 billion in a matter of a year and a half or something like that. I don't think there's ever been a time in history like that. And what's kind of funny is the types of people who are becoming the, the richest people in the world are so different than the types of people that became the richest people in the world 100 years ago, you know, the kind of Carnegie, Rockefeller types. Now you've got the Paul Allens and Mark Zuckerbergs, and it just seems kind of perfect for comedy. What's interesting about sex in Silicon Valley? I just wonder how anybody gets laid up there. <laughs> if you can say this on CNN. I mean, I go into Google and it seems like it's at least 80% men. You, you walk around Palo Alto, it seems like it's 80% men at least. I don't know how guys hook up with a girl up there. I, I, I don't understand it. That's a mystery to me still. I mean, maybe that's why our show, <laughs> there's like no romance. Let's talk about drugs. What role do you think drugs play in Silicon Valley? Um, you know, it's, there's always been a, a weird kind of drug culture to Silicon Valley. Back when I was there, it was sort of, I feel like the, the nerds back then seemed to, they had to have something they do to show they're not nerds. And back then it was like either, oh, I, I race motorcycles, I, I go to dead concerts, I do drugs. It didn't seem to really, change their personalities too much. You know, they do drugs. I just, uh, it just, I guess everybody in the world does drugs now. From doing this show and from doing a lot of the research, what have you learned about greed? Everyone in Silicon Valley has to be sort of ashamed of any greed. You don't want to ever appear greedy. So it's, that's why you hear all this stuff about we're making the world a better place. Any capitalism is just shrouded in all this. We're changing the world. We're helping mankind. They don't want to be flashy about their wealth. Maybe it's because they have so much money, they have billions, so they can go build their own nuclear submarine in a private island, but they don't want to drive a flashy car. Their houses aren't ostentatious. I think it's kind of leftover hippie culture that still prevails. Would you say that technology to a degree is becoming culture? Culture means corporate culture now. <laughs> and uh, there's definitely a tech culture. There's almost a tech, there's almost an accent in the tech world, I think. And, and the, the actor we had, who we unfortunately lost, Chris Evan Welch, I thought nailed the tech accent. What exactly is that? Maybe it's sort of a slightly Asburgery type thing. Has anyone ever eaten at Burger King? I know this is how people talk, so I'm going to now talk. And so it's a kind of a deliberate way of talking, maybe. There's an attitude in general of, of uh, looking at programmers in Silicon Valley as just a bunch of nerds and they do their thing. and. You know, everybody in the world is using all these apps and every day it's part of our daily life and nobody thinks about who actually puts all this stuff together. 